Hi, here we are at Potbelly's downtown Chicago. We just finished a wonderful morning praying for Naperville, praying for the city of Chicago. We started at Fifth Avenue Station in Naperville and gathered up um, with brothers and sisters from Chicago and from Naperville. And we prayed for travel, we prayed, prayed for transportation, for people that work on the metro, that ride the buses, that take the taxis, any kind of mode of transportation. We are praying for them, for safety, for travel, and also for some peace, that when people travel, that they find peace, that they uh, find it a time of rest, a time where they can kind of relate with one another. And we pray for those things. We came to Union Station then, and we're excited. We, we walked outside and saw the snow and the beauty of the buildings here and walked down to Willis Tower. Once we arrived at Willis Tower, we waited for our pastor, Rob Absalom, to show up, which he did. And he had uh, met us on the street there by uh, Willis Tower, I think it was Jackson. <laughs> and, and we embraced him and he shared with us his experience of living among the homeless for one week. It was amazing, amazing. More to come on that. So we uh, then proceeded into Willis Tower uh, and went up to the top, into the clouds, and, and prayed. We prayed as a body of believers together for this great, great city. We prayed for the homeless. We prayed that they have provision. And we asked the Lord to reduce homelessness to nothing. We want no homeless people here in this city. Uh, also for crime, there's been a lot of crime that's been all over the news, all these shootings, all these killings. So we pray that the crime cease, that people that want to pick up a gun or hurt somebody, that God will intervene and take it away and put His Spirit in them, heal them, bring them peace, bring the love of Christ to, to all of the city. We pray for abuse, um, that that is not of God and, and nobody should need to suffer from abuse. And so we pray that God intervenes so people are not abused any longer, for human trafficking to cease and stop. And we pray for the joy, the joy of this Christmas season to overcome people in the city, especially those that are wounded, especially those that might be grieving or suffering. We want to pray for them and circle our arms around them uh, for joy, for peace, and the love of Christ to just saturate them. We also pray for unity as this is a city of diverse uh, backgrounds, unity and the diversity. So we pray for that and also for schools. So we found out that a lot of schools here in Chicago are closing up. So we just brought that to the throne of God and said, no God, you're a God of great wisdom and you care. So we're asking you to open up schools, to bring other schools to a higher level, to provide um, all of the people that teach and the administration what they need to bring a good education to our young people here. So we are just excited to be in the city of Chicago and serve.